After leaving the start, the cars travelled over a steep downhill section, through a couple of hairpin bends, a double hairpin over a stone bridge, up a steep gradient and then a downhill finish. The road was very narrow and many hardened competitors were heard to say things which, translated into commentators' language, meant that they considered the whole affair to be highly dangerous. Despite the hazards, however, some of the runs were terrific, the best speed in the saloon car class being in the region of 50 miles an hour, whilst Johnson in his XK120 averaged almost 60 from a standing start. O'Hara Moore in his Fraser Nash wasn't hanging around, and with a, a very neat run, he put up best time in his class at 2 minutes 38 seconds, about 55 miles an hour. After crossing the finishing line, the cars kept moving, and the Welsh countryside was at its best as viewed beneath a bright sun on a cold, clear morning. Owing to a breakdown in the wireless system, the Epin test had been delayed considerably, as a result of which most drivers were pressing on quickly towards the town of Llandrindod Wells in order to salvage as much time as possible of their scheduled breakfast stop of one hour. Onward, ever onward, uphill and down, with just time to catch sight of a beautiful view with somewhat weary eyes, for both cars and drivers had now been motoring virtually non-stop for 25 hours. But soon there would be at least 15 minutes break and a chance for a wash. Perhaps our German friends found the Welsh signpost names less confusing than we did. Anyway, they certainly had no language disadvantage over the English competitors on this part of the route. 